Hey everyone, it's Tori and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. For today's video, I'm setting up my bullet journal for May 2023. Alright guys, I am doing something a little bit different this month and I'm going to do a talk through plan with me for May. I honestly have been in like a creative rut recently and I had no idea what I wanted to do for a theme. So like if you look at my journal right here, usually I have my whole month planned out. You can see from the past months over here, I just had a how I met your mother theme for April but I have not done anything for May yet. And I also have not penciled anything in, which I'm not gonna lie is stressing me out a ton, but I figured this could be like a we do everything together kind of thing, just in case you're in a creative rut or you needed a little bit more inspiration or you've had some questions about how I set up my bullet journal or come up with themes in the past, this is going to be the video for you. So I hope you don't mind that this isn't going to be kind of like a sped up play with me like I usually do for my month monthly plan with me's. It's just going to be chill. I'm going to be talking through everything and we're going to be figuring everything out together. So I always start with a flip through of last month. And for last month, like I said before, I had a how I met your mother theme. So we have my dashboard over here, my little Dutch door cover page, my monthly spread, my habits tracker, my gratitude log, we have my stress and health log over here, my anxiety tracker over here, all of my reading. I honestly have only gotten through one book in April, which is a little bit sad. My Court of Thorns and Roses, which I am reading for the third time, it got sent back to the library, so it's on hold again. So I'm hoping I can finish that in April. We've got my expenses log over here. And we've got what I have so far for my April in review. It's still the middle of April, so we still got some time. I usually do a what's going on in the world as well. Probably not going to end up filling this in. I have all my weekly spreads over here. And then, like I said, nothing for me yet. <laughs> So I think I am going to leave a page in between just in case I need something for April. So I'm going to start with my dashboard and my cover page over here. Like I said, I was having a really hard time coming up with a theme to do for May. I honestly really wanted to do daffodils, but as you just saw, I had a very prominently yellow theme from last month. So I didn't want to do two yellow themes in a row. So I went on Pinterest and I saw all of these beautiful peachy pink daffodil pictures and I found some extra pinky backgrounds that I can use. I really love this. So I printed out a really big one. And I am basically just going to do a scrapbook style theme in my bullet journal. So this is going to be my first collage style. I'm a little bit nervous because I have a really hard time setting up collages in my journals usually, but I'm going to take a crack at it to kind of get my creative juices flowing. I have all of these. I'm pretty sure these are going to be like way too big, but I can cut things down to size and also like rip things up if I need to. And by the way, all the pictures I found on Pinterest, I am going to have my Pinterest board linked down below if you want to look at them for yourself. And then I also found this picture on Instagram and it had all the colors that I was going for, like the peachy pinks. I just thought it was beautiful. It's from Latte of Love on Instagram. I will have her Instagram account linked down below as well. It just says each person's growth looks different. Focus on yours. And grow is my word of the year and I've really been trying to stick with that. So I really like how this looks. So I might put this on my cover page somewhere or somewhere that I I'm going to look at very often throughout the month. I'm going to jump into my pencil case and try to find all my things. My Pigma Micron 01, I am going to take that one out. Pigma Micron in 05. I'm gonna grab my eraser. I should grab my pencil too. Just grab this one. I usually use my Tombow in N15 a lot, especially for like my borders and that kind of stuff. I use this side, so I'm going to take that one out. I was looking for my N89, which is my warm gray, but I think I'm actually going to use my 942, which you can't even see on here anymore, because I think that goes really well with the peachy pink. So I'm going to take this one out just for highlights and accent colors and that kind of stuff. Oh definitely going to need glue tape for all these pictures I'm going to be pasting down. And I think that's everything from in here. I'm going to look at my Calligraph from Archer and Olive pens collection to see if I can find any peachy pinks. I'm going to see if there's any in this jewel tone collection. I feel like I remember seeing some peaches. This dusty rose might be nice. Oh, this is literally called peach. <laughs> I hope that one works too. 
Maybe moss green will be good. I'm gonna swatch these just in case. I also have some washi tapes that are peachy. This one's from Archer and Olive. It's got cute little flowers on it, so maybe I'll use that one. We've got some good old brown washi tape from Stationery Pal. This grid one might be easy to just use as layering. I should probably put the lid back on um, before I lose all my markers. So this, as of right now, is everything I'm going to be using. It will all be linked down below if I can find it. And I am going to test out these markers to make sure they work for my color palette. I'm just grabbing some white sticky notes. They are pretty bright white, just like the Archer and Olive paper. So I trust that it'll look the same on here as it will on here. Ooh, we'll try peach next. And our last one, just in case I wanted to use a green to go along with like the leaves and things that we see in the pictures. We have moss green over here. I think these look really well together. They just happen to look really well together. Sometimes I'll be going through like hundreds of markers at a time, trying to find a color palette that's suitable for my monthly setup. But I just happen to get lucky today, which is really nice. These are the three that I'm going to mainly be using. I'm gonna get all of this stuff out of the way and we are immediately going to start cutting some pictures out so I can put them all over my spreads. Oh, I almost forgot. I am planning on using my lowercase alphabet stamps from Stationery Pal for headers and things. I think that would look really, really cute with the collage of pictures and all the washi tapes and that kind of stuff. I also have this from an Archer and Olive monthly um, kit, I think. And it's just these little brown neutral tone swatch kind of things that I can use as headers as well. So I'm going to keep these nearby too. All right, now I'm going to start moving these out of the way. Now I am going to go through and cut all these pictures out, so I am just going to speed this up, enjoy the music, and we'll start collaging. Okay, I officially have everything cut out except for this page. This one I'm just going to keep on the side and rip it up as like a layering effect in the back of pictures with like flowers and this one maybe. So I'm going to keep that over here. I don't really have to cut it out since I'm going to be ripping a lot of it. But here are just some of the pictures. I mainly have these like pinky daffodils, but I also found pictures that could go in the background for layering. This one I'm going to keep over here. I really want to use that as like the cover page. And so the ones that I have for more like layering things, I took the white border off since I'll probably be like cutting it up or um, ripping it up as I said with this one before. But the ones that I'm going to have like as a highlight picture in the collage, I kept the white background around it. I can always cut it off if I don't end up liking it, but I've got various sizes. I've got some really big pictures and I've got some like smaller pictures. So I'm excited to see how these are all going to work together in the collages of my May setup. All right, that's enough with showing everything that I'm going to be using throughout the video. So let's just hop right into setting up all of these spreads. I can't even like explain to you how stressed out I am that I haven't penciled anything in and I am filming already. <laughs> Maybe I'll just cut it so it's a little bit smaller because this is really big and I usually do a Dutch door. So I think I'm just gonna cut around this. I'm actually gonna take this guy out so I know it's straight. Right, I'm actually going to keep these, the little pieces I cut off on the side, just in case I want to use them for layering. But I think this is definitely better and smaller pictures I think are going to be a lot easier to work with and move around. I usually go about three, six, nine, ten spaces in. So this is going to be my Dutch door right here. I hope this isn't super boring for you. <laughs> like, I hope you appreciate that you get to see what I do when I'm like setting up my bullet journal rather than just just like having everything planned out and just 
coloring everything in. Sometimes I go in a little bit further just to make sure that nothing is going to be like showing through on the other side basically. So I'll like mark 10 over here but I'll go like one extra in just to be cautious. <laughs> then maybe I should be doing this over here. I think that's what I should be doing. Like how I got the butterfly in it and a whole daffodil to go along with the theme. I'm going to paste this down actually. That's where I'm going to start. <laughs> All right, I think this is gonna be a really pretty background for that picture. I think I'm gonna roll with this. And I do wanna put a daffodil right on the front since that's like the main reason I picked this theme. <laughs> oh, I should've stuck this down. <laughs> this underneath or something. Ugh, I don't know. Maybe they're smaller, so maybe one of these will work better. Or maybe like actually cut one out. Maybe I'll do that. Yes. Yes, I like that. Where am I gonna put the header? I have no idea right now. <laughs> we'll figure it out later. It's really hard only doing like one side because I know this whole side is gonna get cut off. It's kinda making me a little crazy, but I'm sure it'll turn out okay. Maybe I'll put May like, hmm, still gotta figure out where to put May. I'm gonna cut it though. Probably one of the easier Dutch doors I've ever done. <laughs> See, this is why I go in a little bit more <laughs> so you don't see the white on the other side. I think that matched up perfectly. Ooh, I really, really like how it looks. That's making me very happy. Maybe I should put May over here, right? Like I should put May like on this side so it's not disrupting the collage over here. Or maybe like a little sliver or something. I kind of like it down here, but then I'm covering up the butterfly. One second. Thankfully, May is like a super small month name. It's only three letters, so we only need like a little bit of space. I don't really want to cover up the butterfly, but sacrifices have to be made. I think that's too light. I'm gonna go over here, grab some of this color. Sometimes I think I can cut straight and then I just mess it up. Yeah, that's as good as it's gonna get. <laughs> kind of looks like washi tape. Yeah, I like that. And then I'll just write May in my little stamps. Oh, I really, really like this. All right, let's move on to my dashboard. Okay, since I put May down here, I think I'm gonna put dashboard at the top and I'm going to use the same peach tone header that I used for May down here just to keep it consistent. At least make some of it straight because as you can see, I can't cut straight to save my life. Do we think dashboard is going to fit all on here? I sincerely hope so. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the letters on here first, then rip around it if I have room. Dashboard B is the middle. I'm so glad I did not mess up the B and the D because I do that so often. <laughs> Same thing with like P and Q. I always mess those up because it's backwards right here, but this one looks like a B, so I'll pick that up and use it like if I was writing like, I don't know bat or whatever i would pick this one up thinking it was a b and then it'd be backwards so i'm glad i didn't mess it up this time now going on to the word dash hope this is a b damn it <laughs> i said i hope it was a b and i meant like i hope it's a d see what i mean no fun no fun at all bashboard good job tori <sighs> I don't know. I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh goodness. Why do I do this to myself? D. I need a D. That's what I needed. I'm so sad. All right. It's not awful. It's not ideal. Technically I could just like super extra, I guess, and just cut out all the letters and like paste them down one by one. I do not feel like doing that right now. I'm so mad at myself. I was doing so good. Next time, if I'm doing good, I'm just not going to say anything. <laughs> I don't want to jinx it. That looks worse. I'm just going to redo it. <laughs> there, I redid it. <laughs> it 
that was painful. Okay, so dashboard is going to go at the top since I put May at the bottom. I am going to use, I think, where's my little corner piece right here? I'm going to use this at the top, I think, just to make it even with over here. Might make it a teeny tiny bit smaller though just so I have some functional room. And I'm also going to take this grid that I used down here so it's the same at the top and the bottom. I can't even believe how messy my space is, but <laughs> I hope you all don't mind. This way, since I have it offset, the May at the top a little bit to the left and the washi tape a little bit to the right, I'm going to do it opposite on this side. All right, we got our dashboard. Not bashboard, dashboard since there's a lot going on over here it'd be too much to add anything else so let's go functional i'm going to pencil where i want my to-do list which is down this side i'll add my events and my focus down here and i won't add any other decorative elements just to keep the rest of this pretty functional so here we go all right so this is what i have for my dashboard i don't love that i went all the way up to the top but it is what it is this is going to be my to-do list for the whole month i have events going on in may and my focus for my goals in May. I have a little bit of space over here, so I think I'm just going to cut out this teeny tiny flower right here to just put down here or something to give it a little bit more decoration and a little bit less of that random white space that I didn't go all the way up to the top. Yeah, it could be better, but <laughs> that's okay. I'm just going to write in my headings on the dusty rose over here and then we will be all done. I love how these two pages turned out. I think they look amazing. And now we are going to move on to my monthly calendar. What am I going to do over here? I have no idea. Since I have May down here, I don't really feel like I have to put May at the top. I think it might even look weird if I have May down here and May up here. So we're just going to work with what we got. Let me just really quickly check what May's calendar looks like. So it starts on a Monday and it ends on a Wednesday, it looks like. Let's pencil that in. Honestly, I was going to go with a three by four calendar box space. I'm gonna see if I can fit a four by four. I might have to go down the middle, actually. I don't really want to put Wednesday down the middle like this, but I think it's what I'm going to have to do. All right, let's pencil the rest of it in. All right, so I ended up doing five by four, so five down and four boxes across because it kind of filled in the space a little bit more, so that's what I'm going with for this month. I'm going to take my Tombow in N15, and I am just going to go around all the boxes. I can already tell the Wednesday down the middle is going to make me so mad when I'm filling in all the things that are happening in the month. I think it looks better centered than if I did it right up against the decoration over here. I like the way it looks. I just know functionally it's going to make me really mad writing things on Wednesday. So hopefully I don't have a lot going on on the Wednesdays throughout May. Now I'm going to go in and add all the days of the week and to the numbers on this calendar. W got a little smushed, um, but that's okay. <laughs> Moving on to the numbers. All right, this is what I've got for my calendar. I am going to add in some of the decorations over here with my collaging. So let's see what we come up with. I'd definitely add some of this like on the side here, maybe. I don't like this. I'm not a huge fan of like the dark background. I might be able to get it to work. Oh, I'm caught in between these. No, nope, I'm gonna do this one. I've decided I'm gonna do this one. Hmm, kind of sad that I ripped it. <laughs> Honestly. Okay, I don't mind that actually. Like stacked up thing. <sighs> I don't know. This is so hard, guys. Because there is a little space down here that I, is sticky, so I'm gonna have to cover it up. Maybe add like a little bit of this. I'm gonna rip again and I'm gonna regret ripping it again. Because <laughs> that's what I do. I don't know. I'm trying to layer, guys, but I don't know how well it's working for me. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with like the ripped moment. I guess it kind of goes along with like the collaginess. Looks a little bit weird, but it's okay. Maybe, I feel like that's too bright. And washi tape's easy to take off, so just in case I don't like it, I can always 
take it off. And here's where I start second guessing everything. <laughs> All right, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I could turn this into like a little bit of a washi tape moment. Yeah, look at me go. That's what you have to do with big pictures. If you accidentally, like me, print out your pictures so they're like massive and there's no way you can fit all these in your journals, just rip them up and make them into washi tapes. All right, so we've got our cover page, we've got our dashboard, we've got our monthly calendar over here, and now we are moving on to my trackers. Okay, so like I said, I did not pencil anything in. So usually after my monthly, I have my habit tracker and my gratitude log. For my habit tracker, I have these little habit grids that I pencil in. I don't know if I wanna do that today. I think I'm gonna go in with something else. I have this memo pad of off-white grid paper that I got from Stationery Pal. And I think I wanna cut some of these out and have this be like my habit tracker. It might be too small, but let's see if we can make it work. Oh, this is gonna be little. Yeah, I think that's going to be like way too small. Wait, I also have this memo pad and I think it's the same dot grid size. So maybe I'll use this and like layer something underneath. Let's try this one. I'll roll with it. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna cut about eight of these out. All right, we've got some little habit grids that are seven across and five down. So we have enough room for each day of the month. All right, something like that. And we'll have something in the bottom corner over here. Maybe I'll grab one of the backgrounds like this or even the little loofah that I really wanna use. I'm gonna take a little bit of this. And these can even layer now that I think about it. Since I don't have to draw them in, they can even layer over something. So if I wanted to use one of the bigger ones, I can. I really, really love this picture. So maybe I'll layer some things over the top like that. Let's try it out. This month is going to be so thick in my journal. And I really, really, really want to use this picture. I just don't know how. All right, I'm gonna put it down. I'm gonna stop going back and forth. A little bit of this. I'm gonna put this up here and put habits on it. Let me start putting these habit grids down though. I don't know, usually I do about seven or eight. You no, know, I think I like that. I think that looks good. And I'll add a little bit more up here, maybe another daffodil right here or something. And I'll put the header on here. So let me glue all that down. All uh, right, here's what I have so far. Everything is glued down. My tea got a little bit ruined in my habits header, but that is okay, I'm just going to leave it. I ended up putting a little bit more of this peachy pink loofah underneath the habits header. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven habit grids that I still need to figure out how to title them. What I am going to do is I'm going to put this little flower over here. I think it's super cute. I'm hoping it doesn't look super busy. Maybe I'll just cut around it and stick it over here somehow. I think that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I think that looks super cute. So I'm going to paste that down. And then something to go over here, maybe just a little bit of washi tape since I think otherwise it would just get way too busy. My trusty white grid. <laughs> I think that looks okay for now. I think it's a little bit too much washi tape, but since it's a white grid, it just kind of like blends in. It's all right, so I'll leave it. Now for the headers, I have no idea what to do. Usually I write right above on the top what each habit is. So I'm going to try to figure out what to put over there. Maybe these little strips that I cut off before from that picture that I put onto my cover page would work. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I think that looks really cute actually. So I'm going to paste all those down and write all my habit headers at the top. All right, after putting all these down, I think I'm actually going to wait until May to pick these seven habits. 
Sometimes I like to change one or two. Most of them usually stay the same, but I'm going to leave them just in case I do want to change them next month. Now we are moving on to my gratitude log. So for my gratitude log, I know for a fact that I'm going to use this to write gratitude on it, just like I did on this one for habits. I don't know if I'm going to put it at the top or the bottom yet. We will have to see. I know I do need some space to write one thing I'm grateful for each day. And in May, we have 31 days. So I think that's what I'm going to do first. So I've got kind of like two columns going on. I have 1 through 15 down the side starting at the top and skipping one row in between. And then over here I started at the bottom at 31 and I worked my way up to the top to 16. So it's kind of like an offset two column spread if you will. I am thinking that I am going to put gratitude maybe down here. I'm hoping it'll all fit on here is the only thing. And then I'm going to put something else at the top right here to decorate the spread. But first I am going to write in all the numbers in my 01 pigma micron. I did decide to go up one line. That's why you see that I didn't write right on top of the pencil over here, just to keep the lines that I'm going to highlight pretty consistent. Otherwise it would have looked a little weird if every other line was different than the other side, if that makes any sense. I think I'll do 942 since that's like another one of my comfort shades. <laughs> I'm already going super out of my comfort zone with the theme and the scrapbooking style. I'm just going to go with 942 for the highlighting. Now it's time to fit gratitude over here. I grab a little bit of this. That seems to fit perfectly, so I'm gonna do that. Okay, let's see if we can fit gratitude on here. I'm really glad that gratitude fit like perfectly, so I'm going to paste this right over here, maybe put a little bit of washi tape underneath, and then figure out what I'm going to do up here for decoration. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out which one. I could probably turn the top of this into a washi tape, actually, since it's just one line across. Let me try to do that. Yeah, I think that's cute. Put something else right underneath. Gotta paste it down. Then we are good to go. All right, so we have just finished up my habits tracker. My gratitude log is over here. We are now moving on to my stress and health log and my anxiety tracker. My stress and health log, I usually keep it really, really simple with just a two column list format, kind of like my gratitude log. And on this side, I write what I'm stressed about each day. And on this side, I write any like health concerns or anything that's going on with my body each day. So at the top, I'm just going to do a little bit of a header, maybe a little bit of a layering moment with one of these. And that is going to be that spread pretty much done. I'm going to keep it super simple. I have not gotten to use the rose petals yet, so maybe. I will use these. Now should I bring one of these headers in? Let's see what we can come up with. Oh my goodness, I'm having like a blast doing all these collages. I think they're turning out so cute. I'm just going to write stress over here, health over here, and fill in the numbers and the highlights down the side for my stress and health log. I'll move these up a teeny tiny bit, so hopefully it won't ruin the page. Yeah, it ruined it a little bit. Actually, what I'm going to do instead of highlighting everything, I'm just going to put a line down the middle that's super, super light to just say like this side is for stress, this side is for health. I'm almost thinking like, should I put something under here since it's <laughs> so messed up? I should stop fooling around with this, but um, my brain won't let me stop. All right, I did end up fixing it a little bit. I just added some more of that paper at the bottom and I'm just going to write over it on day one. It's the best I could do, basically. So now we are moving on to my anxiety tracker. For this, usually I do something along the lines of drawing one doodle every single day of the month. So in this case, I would do like 31 flowers or whatever, and that I colored in based on how high my anxiety gets. But I'm going to try to figure out a different way to do that this month, maybe do a graph or something, just because I don't really want to bring in some drawn elements since I'm doing a lot of collaging. So let's see what we come up with. The days down at the bottom that are spaced out every other square are going to be the days in May. 
and then one, two, three, four, and five up the side. I might change this to the least amount of anxiety to the most amount of anxiety. I don't really like how there's numbers down here and up the side, so I'm gonna try to change it to something else. Maybe I'll do like dots or something. Like a small dot is the least amount and the, the biggest dot is the most amount or something. Maybe I'll do that. I think I like that. It's definitely different than what I usually do. Let's fill in these numbers. All right, so this way I can just do a little dot on how high or low my anxiety is. This little dot down here is the least amount of anxiety and the big dot is the most. So I'll just fill that in every single day and then connect it all with a line graph as I move along with the month. Now for the decoration. I really, really want a big flower moment down here since I have the space, since I only need to go to 31 down here. So I want like a huge, huge flower moment over here. So I'm I'm actually going to chop this down to size. I'm not gonna rip it or anything just yet because I'm not sure if I want to. I definitely wanna take that little line of white off of the top. So I'll go a tiny bit over. So when I'm cutting, I'm factoring in that white line that's not going to be there. I think it looks pretty good. So I am going to paste this down. Maybe I'll put something like a little background over here. I think that looks okay. Maybe it needs to be at the bottom. Maybe I like it better at the bottom, but I still think something needs to be up here. Maybe I should put the header here? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> still think I need something up here though. Maybe I'll have to put the header up here. I don't know. This is kind of a weird spread. <laughs> Not my finest work, but we can still work with it. That's separated a little bit. All right, now what to do up here. I think I want to keep it pretty simple since this is a lot going on down here. I feel like this does kind of still look weird. I don't know what to do. Oh no. I'm just gonna see what works. And if it doesn't work, then we can change it. There's a lot of florals going on, but I'll put something over here as the header. Maybe this is what's throwing me off. We need something else over here. Yeah, I think that's what was throwing me off. Does that look better? Like, I can't, I can't tell. <laughs> maybe it does. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, maybe that does look better. All right, I'll put that down. I think that looks a little bit better. I think we need a little bit less of this. Maybe cut it off right here and then put some layering. All right, which color do we like more? I think I'm feeling the darkest one. I think I like that. I'm going to put anxiety at the top here and that should be this page all done. Over here, I have a place to mark my anxiety level each day. On this side, I write what I'm stressed about or what I'm anxious about and any health things. That is this whole spread complete. Now we are moving on to my reading and my content log. Reading log is gonna be super simple. It's just a place for me to do a bar graph of the percentage of each audiobook I get through every single day. So I just need a header at the top and the numbers down the side with the percentages at the top. I've been doing this for the past few months. So if you've seen my other videos, you know what I'm talking about, but I am going to put a little bit of a corner at the top of my little papers. I'm thinking this one since I didn't use it in the other spread and it already has sticky stuff on the back. So let's see how this looks. Yeah, I think that's looking okay. And I can just write numbers on the top of it too if I need to. I am going to add a little bit more stickiness just to the corners so I know it's gonna stay down. Maybe I can layer some of this. Just gonna cut a little bit of this out so I can write reading on it. I'm gonna treat this kind of like a washi tape too. Before I paste these down, I'm going to make sure my numbers fit down the side the way that they're supposed to and my percentages at the top. I did have to go onto this paper, but I think that looks okay. Let me just do the percentages at the top now. All right, we've got my days of the month down the side, the percentage of my audiobook at the top. It's a good thing I didn't put in the headers yet because that never would have fit. <laughs> so I'm glad I waited. Now let's stick these down and write reading on this little lined paper moment. I think that looks super cute, super simple. Um, my hands are getting destroyed with all of these markers and stamps. But anyways, we are moving on to my content log.
For my content log, I'm again going to need 1 through 31 down the side, and then I'm going to break it up into three columns, one for Instagram, one for TikTok, and one for YouTube, just to write whenever I am posting. And now that I think about it, I really only post like one to two YouTube videos a month, so I'm not going to need everything down the side. So I might just do two long columns, one short column, then put a little something extra down here. So it's kind of opposite the reading log decoration, if that makes sense. Maybe I'll put some more of this down there. I actually took my content log out of my setup last month and I'm putting it back in because I kind of miss um, writing everything that I was posting every day. And I also forget to post sometimes if I'm not actively thinking about needing to post on like Instagram which I post on every single day so I am adding it back in this month and I will move my expenses log to the next page I'm going to reference my March content planner I have about eight dot grid spaces horizontally and 31 dot grid spaces vertically so I am going to make sure that I have eight across here I am going to break out my pencil this is really driving me nuts if you couldn't tell, but we have eight this way, eight this way, and eight this way for Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. You know what would be really cute? If I took these three flowers and put like the Instagram logo, TikTok logo, and YouTube logo inside of them. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I've got all three of these cut out. I just have to figure out where each of them are going. I'm also just going to put some columns down the middle really quick to separate those sections. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this paper because it kind of goes with this color on the reading header. So I'm going to take some of this and I'm going to make the little icons for each app out of this. Make sure they're small though so it doesn't take away from the flower. Alright, here's the cute little icons. Now we're going to paste those down and figure out what to do in this corner. Now, since I have some of this on this side, I'm going to bring some more over here. I think I'm going to do this corner. I'm just going to do a teeny tiny bit so it doesn't go into any of the TikTok territory. See if I just rip up some of this. Now, where do I put content? That's the biggest question. I could layer it down here. And now to write content and we will be all done with this spread. Okay, we have our reading log, our content log. We are moving on to my expenses tracker and what's going on in the world. Okay, so it is the next day. I was filming for about four to five hours yesterday, so I decided to take a break and come back and do the last couple spreads today. Also, you might notice that I penciled a couple things in. I just did this off camera to hopefully make this go by a little bit faster. So over here, I just have my expenses log. My expenses log does carry on over to the next page because I was finding that I was spending a lot of money. And by the middle of last month, I'm pretty much done with just one side of this expenses outgoing costs part. So I just decided to make another one over here. And then on the other side of this very long expenses log that takes up like three quarters of a two page spread, I have over here what goes on in the world, which usually I don't do on camera because it's just a list format, super easy and a little bit boring to film, but I decided to add it into these spreads this time around. So you will get to see that today as well. Anyways, let's just hop right into setting up this expenses log. I'm first just going to pen everything in that you see that's already penciled in. And then I'm going to use my highlight colors, set it up, kind of explain what I'm doing as I go. So let's hop right into it. Okay, so I messed up a little bit over here. I went all the way across when I should have stopped in the middle. So I'm going to let these pens dry just a tiny bit before I go in with my white gel pen to kind of clear this up a little bit. Over here, on the far left side, I have this little box at the top and that is going to be for my incoming money, like my paychecks or any affiliate code money that I get or anything like that. That's going to go right here. Below that is another little box and that is going to be for my bills. So any bills that are going out this month, I am going to put in here. And then, like I said, the two large columns down the middle are going to be for outgoing costs. So like food, gas, journaling things, <laughs> all those kind of things are going to go right down the middle in these two very long boxes. 
is. Now I am just going to put in my headers. I'm going to highlight everything and all that kind of stuff. So I will show you how I do that. So first I'm going to take this dusty rose color and I'm just going to highlight the boxes that I kind of closed off at the top of each section. Then I'm just gonna take my white gel pen and cover up my mistake. It doesn't cover it up completely, but I think it does a pretty good job. I'm also going to take my 942 Tombow to just do highlights all across the boxes every other line. And then I'm going to take my peach calligraph pen and do my little total line at the bottom where I write how much is my income and how much is my outgoing expenses. I don't know why I ended up putting one down here. Um, obviously it was supposed to go over here because it's an ongoing list. I'm just gonna leave it for now. I don't really think I can cover this up anyway. So it's just going to live down there and I'm just not gonna touch it. All right, now over here is going to be my income. So I'm not going to make the header just yet. I'm going to do that with my stamps, which I honestly forgot to take out. So I will do that now. Here they are. But over here at the top, I'm just going to put date, amount, and description. I'm going to do the same thing down here. And then over here on the expenses sides, I am going to put amount, cash dash card, so I can write if it's coming out of my cash or coming out of my debit or credit card. And then the last one is description. And I'm doing the same thing on the other side. And then I'm going to write total right next to the peach. I'm not gonna write anything down here though, cause that wasn't supposed to be there in the first place. I think over here, I'm going to use this peach calligraph pen to do all the highlights every other line for my what's going on in the world. And I think I'm gonna cut it off right about here. So I have room for decoration over here and over here. And it's pretty much the same amount of space. Just going to erase my pencil lines really quick. And let's move on to the headers and the decoration. I have a couple flower pictures left. I've got a couple big ones and these little ones. I honestly might save these little ones for my next spread, but we will see. And then we've got a whole lot of like the background layering stuff left. Oh, we've got a couple more. All right, so we've got two big ones, two medium sized ones and two small ones. I am going to save the small ones and one of the medium sized ones for my next spread. So let's see if we can fit in a big one and maybe a medium one somewhere on this page. I'm gonna start by cutting this one out to see how to fit it around here somewhere. We've got this one cut out. Let's see where it's gonna fit. I think that fits perfectly. We'll put this over and then somehow fit one of these down here. I cut off the border on both of them. I think it's still too big to layer. Maybe I'll cut some of this off. Maybe we can layer it up a little bit. All right, I think that actually looks good. I'll just have to put something underneath. Maybe I'll put like a little bit of washi tape underneath and bring some washi tape over here. A trusty grid washi tape. <laughs> Yeah, I think that looks okay. And then maybe add a little bit over here too. Yeah, I don't think that looks too bad. So that's what I'm gonna roll with and then we'll do the headers. I'm gonna put a little bit of this loofah at the top. And I might take some more of this and have this be the headers at the top. Or should I use the yellow? I might use the yellow actually. And then maybe I'll do this for expenses at the top. I think I'm going to layer this underneath the header for the two little boxes over here. We'll just see how that looks. Maybe rip these up a little bit so they match the washi tape. All right, I'm going to paste these down. I've got income at the top, bills on the bottom, and then I think I'm going to layer some washi tape underneath this header for expenses. I wanna make this one a little bit bigger since it is like the title of the page, if you will. So I'm going to use my stamps to write expenses at the top. I'm hoping it fits. And now over here, I am going to put what's going on in the world. World, that's not going to fit with my stamps, so I think I'm just going to write it in the same little caps font that I did over here to kind of keep it consistent across the pages. I didn't really explain what my what's going on in the world spread is. I basically just write like news stories or things that's happening in the world this month. So when I'm looking back on my journal for years to come, I can kind of see what was going on in this specific time period. My mom does this in her journal and I've been doing it for the past few months and I've really been liking it. So we've got income, bills, our expenses log right down the middle and what's going on in the world. I kind of want to put something over here, but I'm not quite sure what I want it to be yet. Maybe just a little extra washi tape to make it easier. Maybe like a small sliver of brown. I don't hate it. That looks okay. Our last spread is going to be my May in review.
As you can see, I penciled in a little bit over here and on the bottom here as well, just to kind of move myself along for the last spread. So at the top, I want a little sliver of something that I don't know what it's going to be yet. I'll put it at the top right here. And then I could grab one of these that I haven't used yet to write April and maybe a little flower over here. I said April and um, I meant May. So hopefully I actually write May and not April. <laughs> Oh my god, did I not just say that I hope I don't actually put April and then um, that's what's in my header. So I am going to have to change it. <sighs> you just can't make this stuff up, can you? All right, now I'm just going to write April in review right on top of this like crinkly peach paper. I didn't think I could fit in review in here, so I just wrote it in cursive. Not in love with how it turned out, but we are going to move on. So down here on this side is where I usually put my Polaroid picture, and over here is where I write highlights of the month. So I am going to write remembering right at the top, loving over here. Here is how I space out everything, by the way. I just write the whole word, and then under each letter or space, I write a number. And then once I reach the middle, I know which letter to start with, just so I can keep everything spaced and centered. So in this case, the middle letter over here is B, so I'm going to start with the letter B. Don't be fooled. This is a B. It's not a D. <laughs> All right, now that we've got remembering over here, I'm just going to make sure that the Polaroid is going to fit, and if it needs to be a little bit longer, I'm going to make my loving box a little bit shorter. Let's just make sure that a Polaroid will fit. I have the dimensions in an old journal. This is actually from 2021. The Polaroid picture is 17 down and 11 across, so let's make sure that it fits right here. 14, 15, 16, 17. It does fit that way, and I'm sure it will fit 11 across because it always does. I'm just always worried about it fitting lengthwise. I am going to put my highlights over here, leave a space over here for a Polaroid, and now I'm going to write loving down here. This one I don't really have to space out because I know it's six letters and I know V and I are going to be right in the middle, so I'm just going to do that. And I'm just going to make this long rectangle with my 942 Tombow. I overshot a little bit on this side, so I just overshot on all the sides to make it look even. I think it works in this case, but sometimes I try to fix things and it's just, it's just way too much. But in this case, I think it works. Just going to erase my pencil lines quickly. I've got my area for remembering, loving. I just put things that I've been loving throughout the month that don't fit in my like watching, reading, or listening to category. So it could be like food, clothes, or just any random things that I'm loving throughout the month. Now we are moving on to my headers for watching, reading, and listening to. Gotta calculate all my letters really quick for spacing. And if I have a space like in listening to, I put a little line right here marking that I do need a space to make sure that I'm factoring in the space when I'm making it centered. Looks like C and H are in the middle of watching, so I'm going to do those first right in the middle. Reading has the D right in the middle, so that's what I'm going to do first. And the N and the I of listening is going to be right in the middle, so that's what I'm going to do in the middle right here. All right, now we've got all our headers in. I'm going to go in and outline all the TVs, outline all the books, and all my little music things over here. Oh my goodness, I'm having such a hard time keeping this ruler in place today. Oh my goodness, these TVs look atrocious. <laughs> I don't know why my ruler keeps moving as much as it is, but that's what I get for using a ruler, I guess. I'm just gonna go in with my white to see if I can get this to look a little bit better. I think that's as good as it's gonna get. You can still tell it's TV, so <laughs> oh well. I don't really know what I'm doing. I might just be making things worse. Um... But yeah, I don't even know what to do. I'm just gonna move on to the books. Let's try the books without using a ruler since I can't seem to use it correctly today. The books don't look half bad, so that's good. I'm just going to do five stars on each book so I can color in each star once I give it a rating when I am all done reading it. You know what, maybe it's my pen. I think my pen's drying out because it's being very skippy on me. Maybe it's the pen that's the issue. Or maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just not my best day. All right, there's the stars. I'm going to put the titles in here once I read each book. Usually I read like three to four books a month. Sometimes I just read one. So three is a pretty average book 
reading situation for me. I don't even know what I'm saying, but I just put the titles in once I'm done reading it. I mark however many stars I rate it, and that is it for the reading section. I realized I forgot to put movie, TV, and YouTube up here on my atrocious TVs. And then our last little section is listening to. Um, I think I'm getting my hand um, all over the ink and it's smudging everywhere. Oh, this video just needs to wrap up, my goodness. All right, I'm just going to make little squares over here to put album covers in, which I never end up doing, so I don't know why I continue to make little squares. Sometimes I do little doodles in them, um, but most of the time I think I just end up leaving them blank. And by the way, this listening to section is a place for me to write like a song that I can't stop listening to or like if I'm listening to a podcast. But for the most part, I just listen to audiobooks when I'm in the car. So there's not many new songs that I'm discovering throughout each month. So that's why I only have two spaces. I'm gonna put my little play buttons and things over here. Usually the microns are amazing, but once I start drying out, it's like very skippy and hard to get like a clean line. I'm going to color these in with that same Tombow I was using before. And then I am going to put some decoration down here. What should we put down here? Should we use more clouds since we did that at the top? I'm gonna grab some from this side a little bit down here and I think I might put like our last flower down here too. I don't have any more of this paper but maybe this could work. It's like a little washi tape moment and since I didn't cut up this part I might not cut up this part. I know I do want this to be in the corner so I'm going to paste that down first. To add two? That could be too much. Uh oh. <laughs> the two. <laughs> Just not gonna lift that up anymore. And I forgot to cut off the corner of this picture. And I am just going to start moving everything out of the way. Wait, maybe add a couple more things up here. Then I'll be done, I promise. Maybe little flowers. I wish I could add this butterfly somewhere. <laughs> Aww. Missed opportunity. Yeah, I think I like the little flowers. Now we are done. Oh my God, did I not just say that I hope I don't actually put April and then um, that's what's in my header. So I am going to have to change it. <sighs> you just can't make this stuff up, can you? I'm not even going to write in review. I'm literally just gonna write May and um, yeah, it's not even gonna be centered. And that's just going to be the end of it. I can't believe I didn't even notice that until the end. I can't believe it. <laughs> okay, I'll write in review, but then it just has to be done. Make it kind of look centered. I still hate it, but yay, we're done. <laughs> We are now entering the final flip through portion of today's video and I encourage you all to comment down below bash board if you made it to the end. And also please comment down below what your May 2023 theme is for this year in your bullet journal. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe while you're here. Also, don't forget to check out my bullet journal Instagram at Creative Minds Coffee Grinds and also my bullet journal TikTok, which is at Creative Mind Coffee Grinds without the S. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.